Hi everyone, welcome back to Oh So Inspired for the month of July. We post on the 15th of every month and um, this is our inspiration for this month. It looks like it was a scrapbook layout, little fish, the kids are in the water, really cute paper and little um, fish and octopi, octopus and turtles and seahorses all around and things. So definitely vacation-y pool kind of thing. It looks like it was a cruise anyway. Um, and this is by... I am not sure exactly, but it's on the front of our thing and it'll be down below the video, the inspiration will, because um, these are comments about this. So um, when I printed it anyway, what I took from this is the circle and also sort of the ocean theme. Um, so I decided to make a circle card and here it is, but it opens like this so um yes i did pull out last month's paper pumpkin kit <laughs> but i also pulled out the new um and i did use stampin up products the new um high seas 3d embossing folder uh this is a piece of coastal cabana cardstock <clears throat> but to soften it a little bit i went over it with the whisper white Forgive my voice, guys. Um, craft stampin' pad <clears throat> with a with a blender brush thing, and I just gently went over it to make it look like the white caps on the waves kind of thing. Um, so I took a whole circle, and I'm sorry, no, I didn't. I took a piece of coastal cabana that was sort of a rectangle scrap that I had, but then I cut it along one of the embossing um, wave things. And this you might recognize as the sandy part or whatever it was from the um, paper pumpkin kit. So I stamped that in crumb cake, but then I took my crumb cake Stampin' Blend, the light, and just went in because I didn't want the white showing through. I wanted it to be more like sand, you know, was, anyway. Um, the tree the coral i actually stamped in calypso coral t twice back here but then in front of it i do have a little piece of the coral from the kit that's the same shape the um, vellum and these little seashells i stamped in early espresso and those were stamped out of the seaside notions just these two and i stamped this one a couple times and this one once over here peeking out and then these greeneries the starfish and sand dollar are from the paper pumpkin kit last month and then um, the little fishies are out of the under the sea framelits dies soon to be just under the sea dies i guess and that was part of the bundle last uh last year from the sea of textures I didn't really use any of these stamps. Um, well, I did. I used this Have a Wonderful Adventure up here. And, but the fishies, the school of fishies, were here. So, and I had, I have some of this um, sparkly white, this stuff. So here's where I cut it out from. Oops, I missed a couple. Anyway, um, this was out of the Miss and Magical that were, in, it was in the clearance rack for a long time, but it's, it's, I don't believe it's in there anymore. So sorry about that. That is a retired product, but you could use any kind of sparkle paper you have. And let's see what else. Okay, this I showed you, that's stamped in Coastal Cabana, but then I used the Pretty Label Punch because I thought it looked the most like a cloud up in the sky. And I just went around the edges of that actually with Pool Party to blend in um, the sky back here. I took my water brush and just a little bit of Pool Party and just to give it more of a sky uh, effect. So that is that. I kind of wanted to blend it in with the sand a little better. So 
that is my round card that I took inspiration from. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do this month actually and then actually to make this a little sturdier um, and because the blends go through you know I actually backed the front with an extra piece. I didn't do that to the back um, and I did stamp some of the coral in Coastal Cabana. I stamped it twice light you know and then once full strength just down in the corner. I thought that gave it a little something something. So yeah, that's my project for this month for the 15th. And uh, oh, and these are um, these are the glitter enamel dots, and they are in Costa Cabana. I have one, two, and just one more down here. And that's all the little school fishies. I had to glue them each individually down because they pop out all those little fishies, and um, that was a little tricky, but I did it. <laughs> so it gives a little sparkle too. So I hope you enjoyed my project. Please go check out what everyone else has made. And I can't wait to see what they've done with it. And I'll talk to you again next month. Talk to you soon. Bye.